start recording. All right. Okay. What's up? Um, we're now basically at the end. I kind of got it where I like it to sound. And again, the thing about mastering in sonar and about doing your own mastering is that you can go back and forth, back and forth. You know, what I mean, you can change and tweak whatever you want to change, whatever you want to tweak. You can go back into, um, you know, you can go back into the mix and and take one of the vocals down, or take some of the music down, or you know, tweak that, and then then you know, you just start back over again. You bring it back into your mastering file, and you you know, you start back over again. But what you really want is consistency. So I'm just gonna recap here what we've done is. Uh, what I've done anyway on each track, I each wave file has its own, you know, stereo wave file has its own track and it has its own EQ and its own multi band uh, compressor. And then for the master track, and that's basically what's going out, what, you, what your final product is going to be, I have the tube leveler, which gives it um, the tube leveler is on a mix warmer, so it has a warm sound on the mix. Um, and then the boost 11 and what you want is consistently consistency from song to song so and I pretty much have that you know so I'm gonna turn this down a little bit and let you just sample a little bit of it basically it goes So what you can do is you can go to file without highlighting any any clip region and export your audio. But you don't really want to do that. Not at this point. Because that'll be a long ass song, you know. Right now the file's all the way up to 16 minutes. So what you want to do is just highlight your region. And if you highlight the region and you go to file export audio, it, right there. And then you want to make sure your bit depth is 16 16 because um that's what CDs record at and that's what it needs to be 16 bit so they haven't got CDs up to 32 bit yet um and then you want a separate master masters uh folder so we go right here wait let's go back so I'm gonna go uh my heart wanna dance then I'll go to masters and it's already there for me then I'll press export and so highlighting that region basically um, allows you to export the audio from that region only and not the whole file. And this one's a little bit faster because it's only dealing with four plugins versus, you know, one excuse me, one track and four plugins versus when you're doing the mix, mix takes longer because you're dealing with multiple tracks and multiple plugins. So You know, and then there you have it. Okay, so now you have your mastered mix, um, and then we'll go to my music file where all my music is, and we'll go to the masters, and we'll put it on. Um, and we'll just drag it right here. Bam. And then there we have it. So now we have four masters and then we can play it. And it's gonna be nice and toasty. And everything's gonna be loud. And so basically what happened is all those, all these came from, um, all these masters came from this file, you know? So what I get is I get consistency throughout my entire, uh, my entire CD. And that's what you want. You want consistency throughout your entire CD. So. All right, we're gonna cut it at this because I have a lot of editing to do. Um, 
But just want to let y'all know I got a new website up. It's called IamMasquerade.net. And if you go there, you'll be able to sign up on my email list. And if you sign up for my email list, I will send you three to four tracks. I'm not sure I haven't made up my mind, but I'll send you three to four tracks from my upcoming album, I Am Masquerade. And uh, thanks, for, thanks for watching. Peace.